you for this blessed Wednesday day. We thank you for this fast day. Yes, we thank you for your holiness. Yes. We thank you for your Holy Spirit yes. who have kept us and you're keeping us yes. in this Christian life. Yes. As we go forward tonight, we pray for the sick and the afflicted. Yes. 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 We pray for those who have asked for prayer. Yes, God. Look yes. upon them tonight. Bring them more. In the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, you're everywhere at the same time. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And our Heavenly Father, thank you for great St. John. And thank you, Lord. Pray continuously for each member, one by one and name by name. Look upon Marcus tonight, where he may be. In Jesus' name. And we all say, Amen. Amen. God is good. All right. You may be seated. We're still in the 37th number of the Psalm. Amen. A man who wrote this book by experience with God. Uh, it's one thing to talk, but it's another thing to experience your actions with God Amen. by faith. You can't do it by lip service. Amen. Some say, oh yeah, I know, know the Lord. Like James said, well show me your works. Right. I'll show you my faith with my works. Now show me your faith with your works. Yes. Uh, David here, he talks, he actually testifies. He actually writes from experience. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Fret not. Stop worrying. Amen. Stop worrying yourself because yes. of those who do evil. He says evil doers. Yes. Then he says, uh, don't become envious against the workers of iniquity. Don't say, I'll, be, I'll get them back. No, don't, don't, don't go that way. Don't become envious. Uh, wish somebody going to get them back. Don't go that way in your mind. Yeah. Amen. Uh, for they shall, he said now, and I, I, I'm just saying, he didn't, he's talking, I feel, from experience. Because he saw this happen. Amen. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither. They're going to just, you wonder where they are. Yeah. Wither. Like the uh, Cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. But he tells you what to do. He tells you what to do. Amen. He says, now, instead of you worrying, instead of you being envious, you trust in the Lord. Yes. Not just only that now. And, that's a conjunction. Yes. You trust and do good. And then there's, there's benefits that follow. I preached about benefits uh, Sunday. Yes, amen. Yes, and, and he says, the benefit is, you shall dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Amen. Don't you get no numbers tattooed in your body. Amen. Amen. The 666. No, no, no. You, you, won't, you won't go to heaven. He says, delight yourself. He's telling you the benefits of not worrying. Amen. Not being in this, but right. trusting and doing good. And he says, delight. That means be happy. Amen. Amen. Don't come in here with no sad sack on your face. God has been too good to you. Amen. You don't come in quiet and looking uh, suspicious and <laughs> auspicious. Say what God has done for you through your ways and actions. Amen. 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 It, you know what? It don't hurt you to smile. No. no. Not at all. You, you, you got that. It just does something to you when you see somebody frowning all the time. Yes. Amen. Delight yourself. In the Lord. Yes. You're smiling because God has been good to you. Amen. God
God has brought you where you couldn't bring yourself. Delight yourself in the Lord. And he shall. Now look at the benefit. Look at the benefit. He shall. Not you. He shall give you the desires of your heart. Amen. That's the problem is you don't delight. Right. You're always in your spirit groaning. Have mercy. You're always in your spirit doubting. Yeah. Have mercy. Come out of that. Yes. Right. Praise him. God is taking at his word. Right. Right. You know, I was reading, I heard this morning as I was working out. I was working out. By the way, I did 1,023 calories last night. Uh, I don't know, Sister Scott, she just ran off from me. I did 12,000. <laughs> Two hundred. So she did seventeen thousand. She's always trying to best me. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> don't you know he'll keep you, he'll give you the mind. Amen. Like yeah. you know, I, I was having this little issue. Something funny. It's kind of funny feeling in my on my left side, lower left side. I said, let me let me go and have this examined. Went in today, got an appointment, and the doctor said, oh, he asked me how I was done. I said, you know, I'm blessed, doctor. And I'm doing this, and I'm working out. He said, you got a toothache? I said, no, it's not hurting. I said, I'm doing preventative medicine before I get there. Uh -huh. So he took an x-ray and said, oh, you got an infected nerve, an infected uh, root. And I said, oh, thank you. Set up an appointment for me, and be it the Lord's will, should live. Go get that fixed. Amen. Some wait till the last minute. That's, right. That's the way some gonna be trying to get ready for the judgment, and they won't wear it. Have mercy. Start now. Preparation is very important. Amen. Start trusting in the Lord now and doing good. Amen. Delight yourself in the Lord now. Yes. Lord, I go to church. I pay my tithes, but are you delighting yourself in the Lord? Are you, being, are you being happy? Right. Some people don't know how God is just anxious. He's waiting to give you. Yeah. Right. But you got to do what he tells you. Yeah. Delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Now, look, you know, you got to have the, he, before, look, he's not going to give no evil person. Don't go to him talking about, I delight myself in the Lord so I can get what I want. He ain't going to give me no First National Bank. No. He ain't going to give you no husband. No. Yeah. Where you can run him. <laughs> you got to be pleasing before God. Amen. Don't no man want no bossy woman anyway. Right. You got to be. When you follow this, you'll set yourself up for God's blessing. Amen. 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 Then it comes down now. This is where I want to chime in tonight. Mm -hmm. Commit. All right. Mm -hmm. I want that word to sink in. All right. Commit. That means that you got to decommit from fornicating. All right. Amen. 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 Commit thy way unto the Lord. Yeah. That means you got to decommit yourself from going to the social club on Friday night and Saturday, yeah. hanging out and then singing in the choir on Sunday. Amen. You got to decommit husband and husband. Woman and woman, you got to decommit. Amen. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Yes. Now the benefit follows. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. What they've been lying on you about, just go on, commit your way. Amen. Don't you try. To decommit, I'm gonna lay my my religion down so I can take care of this. I'm gonna cuss them out. Mm -mm. And 
Man, I'm going to commit again. <laughs> Decommit. Pick up your boxing gloves. And <laughs> shooting and cutting out. Then put my gun down and then come into church. Lord, I commit. You're going to kill somebody. Right. Burn them. Now that ain't going to work. No. Commit thy way. That means you got to stop being isolated mm -hmm. right. from your family members. Mm -hmm. Tell them about Jesus. Wow. Yes. Right. Amen. Don't be afraid when you're at the dinner table. Tell them, hey, Jesus lives. Amen. Tell them to the utmost, Jesus lives. Amen. Stop decommitting. All right. When you're at the table, you don't talk about the Lord. Right. You chime in with who's going to win the foot foots of the, the Super Bowl Sunday. Mm. Regardless who wins, they ain't going to give you none of their money. Every penny of their check gonna go to their bank. Right. And guess what? All those who pay those, I don't know how many hundreds and thousands of dollars, each player out there will not decommit their salary. Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> no. They gonna be out there. Right. So but where are you gonna be? Which is more important? Right. The church or the stadium? Right. Which is more important? Oh, I know I'm getting home now. When trouble comes, who are you going to run to? The stadium or to the church? Right. Man. I'm not saying, look, I am one of I am for sports. I played football. I ran track. I played basketball. Yes, I did. I did. I, uh, my coach told me I had, could have had a $45,000 contract pitching with the Baltimore Warriors. I'm not against sports. But what I am for, I'm not going to decommit coming to church Amen. on Sunday. Amen. Remember the Sabbath day. I'm going to do God's will. I'm not going to decommit from doing God's will. Amen. I commit yes. when he saved my soul. Amen. When he brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. I decommitted from singing the, uh, when I was singing with the, uh, with the group. Why do fools fall in love? And I decommitted. I said, I can't do this anymore, fellas. Mm -hmm. I'm singing Christ is the Answer on Sunday. And on Monday night, we, we, we are rehearsing for an hour about uh, the worldly songs. Mm -hmm. I walked in there and said, I can't do this anymore. I decommitted. All right. Yes. I'm glad I did, too. Amen. Because it's, it's very strange. Most of them are dead. Most of them are dead. One, the lead singer, I think he passed as 55 years old. Oh, wow. 55. And he was, he was with a uh, big group, a big group. Commit thy way yes. unto the Lord. Amen. Yes. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Do you believe God's word? Amen. Amen. Yes. Do you believe God's word when things are out of control? Amen. Amen. When you're challenged in your classroom teachers to decommit your Christianity, Christian relief and, and stand for gender, How much are you going to decommit? All right. All right. Or are you going to commit your way unto the Lord? Yeah. Are you going to decommit?
decommit uh, trusting in the Lord or you're going to commit to uh, compromise. Mm. Got to stop going to the uh, to the homosexual bar yeah. club. Decommit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want God to save your soul. Yeah. Amen. You say you want God to save your soul. Decommit right. and commit your way to the Lord. Right. Trust also in Him; He shall bring it to pass. Yes. Verse six says, "And He shall." Bring forth your righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. What is righteousness? Righteousness is doing it the Lord's way. Amen. There's no other way. Amen. You either write or are you wrong? Amen. There is no neutral ground in serving in this life. When the prophet Elijah challenged the children of Israel on Mount Carmel, he said, how long will you stand between two opinions? If God be God, serve him. If Baal be Baal, then serve him. You know what the people said? Why? Because they was confused. When you get lead the church and you get out there in the world and you're supposed to be a Christian, and then when things started going wrong like that, there was a famine in the land for three years and six months. It did not rain. They got hungry. Products and economy started going down. Just wait a little while in America. Just wait a little while. You better get close to God. Amen. People, they run into the, run away from the, they're going to start running to the, I just believe that. I feel so I run it. God know how to turn you around. Amen. And there they stood on my call. I think it was something like, what, 450 prophets Amen. jumping around, cutting themselves, and yeah. blood running like water everywhere. Elijah over in the corner said, why don't you call your God a little louder? Right. See, it's all about what God you're going to serve. Right. You're going to serve that they're binge drinking. You're going to serve that uh, uh, sports God. Which one? Who, who are you going to serve? Yeah. Right. And don't get me wrong. I am not against sports. Yeah. Right. I look at it. I, I, yes, I do. Amen. But not, in, not when it's church time. Right. I put God, keep God in his place. Amen. Oh, yes. Yes. And there they are standing between the contest of mm -hmm. Elijah. Why don't you call him a little louder? Mm -hmm. He must be busy. Oh, he's on vacation. Right? Mm -hmm. He's busy traveling. And they are jumping up and down. So he, he did that for, I think, four or five hours. And I realized, okay, okay, it's my turn now. Mm -hmm. Bring a dig a ditch. Give me 12 stones and bring me 12 barrels of water and put it around there. And the God who passes by fire, Elijah, as he prayed humbly, oh, he was so nimble. Stuck, put his head between his legs. Yes. That was so humble. Do you understand what he's doing? That way, and the fire came down and swooped up that water. God know how to convince, let you know. God's not gonna lose the battle, Amen. and He's not gonna lose the war. Right. 
don't matter how many against you, brother and sister, God is with you. Amen. He's more than the world against you. Amen. Stop being a coward. Amen. Some, you got some, they scared of their family members. Well, as long as they, they talk loud and bark, so well. And he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light. That means everybody going to see it. Right. Amen. And thy uh, judgment as in, you don't have to go out and try to convince people that you're right. Right. Just live. Amen. Just live right. Yeah. Do right. Amen. Speak right. Yes. Amen. Allow Jesus to be in your heart. Amen. Amen. Rest in the Lord. Oh my goodness. If the church would, I'm talking about those that have left and they're out there worried now. Those in the church, if they just do this, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. I'm resting in the Lord. They woke half the night. <laughs> Tossing and turning. Tossing. I think they used to have a worldly song like that. Twisting and turning. Tossing and turning. You, you know what I'm talking about. Tossing and turning. Twisting and whatever. Well, when you worry. You ain't gonna rest. No. Because you're resting in your problem. Yes. <laughs> Trying to figure how how you're gonna work it out. Look at what Daniel did in the lion's den. That's our Sunday school lesson. Amen. Look at what he did. Now you gonna rest. He's gonna rest and go to sleep. Yes. And use the lion's shaggy mane as a pillow. Right. I mean, he went to sleep. Amen. King walking all night. Right. <laughs> and Daniel is asleep, he's resting, yes. and he's patient. Yes. Because ain't nothing going to happen. But the king was so anxious. Look at the opposite. Say, oh, Daniel, you show God able. You show God able to save you, Daniel. Oh, King, live forever. Yeah. Our God has sent an angel. Yeah. Don't you know, you know, I was, this, was, this was so strange. Was this this morning or last night? This morning, as I was working out, I think it was this morning, as I was working out, I felt another presence with me. I felt another presence with me as I was listening to the Word of God, as I was listening to the, to the Bible, as I was working out on my treadmill. I could, I, I, was that last night, this morning? It was last, this morning. And I could feel, it's almost like, feel the presence. I, when I was in St. John, I'm not talking about a dream, I'm talking reality. I was at St. John standing in the pulpit about to turn out and I stepped up. I think this was and Dr. Anderson, was it Dr. Anderson? I don't remember him. When I stepped up to turn the church out, I felt somebody touch me on the back of my shoulder. I turned it, there was nobody there. Mm. The angels of the Lord, mm. the Bible says, campeth around. Yes. Right. Amen. Yes. I used to be sitting in the church at St. John and see flashes. 
angels were angels. Yes, Some in this church have said they have seen lights. Amen. One brother said he saw a light when I went over the net. Yeah. You ever remember them saying that? Amen. Well, why don't y'all say amen? Yeah. People think I'm lying. Is it hard to tell the truth? No. 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 Well, anyway, I'm trying to tell you, uh, the Lord will be with you. Yeah. And he'll make you know that he's with you. Yeah. Yeah. That was so encouraging to me when the Lord showed me my, that my brother, he's like my big brother, so to speak, in St. Louis. So I'm here. Right, right, yes. right, right. And I called him, and he, he verifies what I saw. Yes. I remember. The late Mother Gilmore, we went on this revival trip to Tulsa, Oklahoma. You remember that? And we stayed in the Mayo Hotel. Yes. Does that ring a bell? Yes. And uh, I was praying in my room. Nobody was in the room but me. I, I prayed with my, my hands up toward the Lord. And when I got back to Oakland, my, you know, mother, the late mother, the mother of Gilmore, she was very quiet. She was a sainted person. She said, wouldn't you pray with your hands up? She, she, she caught me off guard. She said, wouldn't you pray with your hands up? And I got to think, I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I know, you all right. The Lord showed me you. You all right. <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to tell you, the Lord will bring out his word. Yes. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. Yes. And thy judgment as the noonday. Yes. I was in the room by myself. Right. But she saw me praying in Oakland. Right. I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Trying to tell you, yes. God is real. Yes, Amen. He is. Yes, He is. Oh, yes. He's everywhere at the same time. Yes. You don't have to try to prove yourself. No. Just keep living. Amen. Right. Amen. Keep living. All right, I'm done now. I'm, I'll bring, come back to verse. Let me finish this. Spread, uh, rest in the Lord yes. and wait patiently. For him. I, I look at some on the freeway. I tell those who drive me and some others. I say, don't get in the rat race with them. Yes. Stop doing that. You have an accident. Right. Try and keep up with them. You, don't let nobody, don't let anybody dictate your speed. Amen. Drive carefully. Amen. Have the Lord on your mind as you drive. Amen. He'll avert you. Amen. This world is going so fast, going nowhere. Right. Rest in the Lord yeah. and wait patiently mm -hmm. for Him. Right. Sometimes we we some passes on the freeway, right. and then we get we just go right on same speed, right. and they, they'll be behind some traffic because right. we already caught up with them. Right. <laughs> Fret not thyself because of Him who. Prosper in his way yes. because of the man who, who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Yes. Don't worry about those who got their they Cadillacs and mm -hmm. their medallions and jewelry and all like that. Rome. Right. All right, all right. He said, oh, don't worry about that. Right. You just keep being honest. Amen. Amen. Right. Doing it the Lord's way. Don't worry about that. Yeah. You'll be like the turtle in the race. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'll, I'll come back to verse 8 next week. 
All right, for those who are live streaming with us, thank you. I'm telling you, the increase uh, <laughs> on YouTube, I look at that sometime, I say they have 10 and 8 numbers up there. But they don't know the other numbers. Amen. 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 We, we have over 450 people watching each week. Amen. 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 And I hope, that's just my prayer, I was saying, Lord, I hope those 8 or 10 on YouTube are the ones who get saved. Amen. I hope they're the one who's looking yeah. and be saved. Right. Amen. Or be strengthened. Right. Amen. 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 God bless you who's looking. God bless you. Get in a Bible-based church. Amen. 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 Pray about it. Yeah. Bible-based church. God bless you. Until next time, those who would like to say something.